I'm super annoyed. <laughs> but it's also like my job as mom. It is 12.15. And I just made an attempt to go walking for the first time today. Um, I had an appointment this morning. It actually got out early. Then I realized I was headed here. I had shorts to change into. I was already in my tank top. And I couldn't find my sunglasses. And I was worried I put them through the wash. So I ran home to check the wash. Couldn't find them anywhere. Um, came back. Um, started walking. And I'm only a mile in. I actually need to stop my outdoor walk on my phone. Or my app. Um... And Ashley called me to, well, she's from the nurse, she's in the nurse's room. The nurse called me and uh, I had a feeling this was gonna happen. She was not wanting to go to school this morning. Um, she had two practices last night for cheer. Her new competitive squad just started up again last night. Um, and despite me talking to her coach the last two weeks at her other practices she's on three different like teams I literally told her coach what's wrong with her how much pain she's in we have solutions but she's got to take it easy showed her the stretches she needs to do when she's there can you encourage her to do that I saw her I sat and walked for two hours just to make sure if she was okay I saw Ashley many times um getting her stretches in so I really appreciated it I thought, okay well the coach is taking this seriously she's and I saw Ashley and she wasn't really like putting a lot of feet movement into the routines that she was learning, doing her arms as much as she could. So I was like, okay, everyone's taking this seriously. We did that for two weeks. And then we started this competitive practice last night and Ashley came out in tears saying that the coach was like, Ashley, get off the floor. Your feet can't hurt that bad. And you gotta do it just like everyone else does. Blah, 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 blah. Just like harsh. And I, this coach is harsh. She's a dance coach. I mean, she's whatever. She's a nice person, but it's like she forgot from one squad to another and one night to another, everything that I told her about Ashley. And so I'm going to have to go and talk to her. Um, because and I'll just tell you guys, I, I'm using my phone because this works better. I can keep driving and my hands are free. I talked to my dad about this and my dad has told me this story many, many times. But it was always about a boy, and boys have this growth plate, um, and it's not even called Severs disease for boys. I don't remember the name of it for boys, but their growth plate is in the, the bottom of the kneecap and um, somewhere else. Like for girls, Ashley has it in, has had it in her chest um, cavity, and then now her heel where the um, Achilles tendon attaches to the heel, and that's called Severs disease. But the one, the most drastic time my dad has ever dealt with boys with the growth plate issue is when he was in medical school and he was um, shadowing an orthopedic surgeon. And a boy came in, he was 15 years old, and he came in to meet with this surgeon. The surgeon put him in a full leg cast, like from hip all the way down to his ankle. <laughs> probably like even down into his foot and my dad's like dude what did this what happened to this kid you know like he walked in here I saw the kid walk in here why would you put him in a full leg cast if he can actually walk like there's you know there's nothing wrong with him and the orthopedic surgeon went on to explain that this kid for the past year had this growth plate issue in his knee and you have to you have to like let it heal um now, Ashley is still doing cheer, but she's going to stop like that impact on her heel and she's doing her stretching and she's standing in, in place and doing arm cheers when she's at my cheer practice instead of doing all of the foot motions where she could have an impact on her heel. She stands in place and does everything she can with her arms and everyone understands that she understands how to do the cheers. She's just taking it easy on her feet. The problem is when you, when you don't do that. And this poor kid for a year had refused to stop playing basketball and he would go two three weeks of you know taking time off basketball and then as soon as he wasn't feeling pain anymore which is 
the point where you still need to rest for two or three more weeks, he would go back to basketball, despite everyone's advice. He would go back and play basketball, and he would re... My, my dad ex- kind of explained it. He was like, he'd re-crackle that growth plate again, and then it would have to heal all over again. And it does. It does heal itself, um, but he would re-damage it over and over and over again. And so the orthopedic surgeon, with the help of his parents, agreed, this kid needs to be stopped or it was going to stunt his growth in that leg. So he would have a leg difference as he grew. Um, and so they put him in a full leg cast. They had to just completely stop the kid from moving, (laughs) um, and put him in a cast for six weeks to get him to like fully heal. Both my pediatrician, Ashley's pediatrician, my dad, um, even my sisters, that they all understand this disease like, yeah, she could do exactly what she's currently doing as long as she's not putting impact on the heel. So I just need to talk to the coach. So long story short, my dad's like, if you don't want to have her put into a full body cast, <laughs> not a full body, a full leg cast, um, which she wouldn't end up having to do. But anyway, I, so I when I talked to Ashley on the phone today, I was like, do you want to just get practice tonight and let your foot heal, like, feel better? And she's going to think about it. So, I am headed to get her now. (sighs) So frustrating, because by the time I get her home, and if I were to go back to the park, it would be one. (laughs) Oh, and I'm hungry. I'm going to be hungry by one. I wouldn't want to walk for two hours. (sighs) This is so dumb. I don't want to walk for two hours that I want to walk today on an empty stomach, but I certainly don't want to go home right now and eat a full protein lunch that I know I need to eat and then have to go walking right away because I'd have to be done in order to take Ashley to cheer. She's going to go. So I can't go walking right now, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm going to go get Ashley. Okay. Went to the dollar store. I actually want to check my dollar store. I came to one a little out of town just because this is a better one. (laughs) Um, But I'll be down by another one during Ashley's practice. So I'm going to try another one. Um, I did get a few stocking stuffers for Christmas. I wasn't thinking about it until I saw these items. And then I was like, well, that's kind of a fun little stocking idea. So I just grabbed them really quick. Um, so I can't show you those things, although I probably could, but likely I'll just show you. They don't watch. They really don't. My kids don't watch anymore. Ashley's friends might watch. So if your friends are watching, just don't tell Ashley, (laughs) the other kids. So let me show you really quick. I literally didn't get anything too exciting. Um, I'm not even going to say what I went to look for because I don't know if they're going to have that eventually. It was just in high hopes that they would have some happy planner. I guess I'll tell you happy planner, um, like scrapbook stickers, like whole packs, the ones I, that are like $20 at Hobby Lobby and Michael's. Um, they say that they have them here, but alas, they weren't. Um, let me trade out the battery. Hang on. Okay. Battery done. Um, Ashley has needed some uh, colored pencils and strangely enough we don't have any. She even looked through my entire office supply bucket and for the first time in 12 years since my kids have been in school we don't have paper uh, colored pencils. Um, they didn't in fact have colored pencils here at the dollar store either so I just got Ashley some of these um, little markers. She just has school projects little you know coloring assignments like she's working on one probably for uh like geography I don't know what class it is but like she's having to draw maps and things like that and color them in so I need to find some colored pencils I just keep forgetting to get it from Target um I did get some spooky spiders to decorate outside I need to like pull out my Halloween stuff and see if I have um any cobweb they didn't have any here um I'll just get it from Target or like Hobby Lobby um but I thought it would be kind of fun for the kids um to decorate for Halloween outside 
this weekend. Kaylee is going to be home this weekend. Um, and you guys will find out soon that Abby's surgery is also coming up. So it'll be a weekend of us needing to be at home. So I thought that would be kind of fun if they wanted to decorate for the holiday. I also got these cute little monster Ziploc baggies. Um, there's 15 in here and I have 14 girls on my cheer squad and they're little monsters. At least they were at practice last night. So I got those and I'll just fill it with treats for Halloween. Um, it'll be one of our last practices right around Halloween. Okay, so then the only thing, I, the only other things that I got, um, can't show you. I'm gonna show you one at a time. They're just funny. I always get this type of item for the kids in their stocking stuffer, um, but I thought these ones were a little bit funny and, and unique, um, and I haven't ever seen them before. So, they're, <laughs> they're themed cozy socks. So that one is the Blow Pop, and then I got uh, Twizzlers. They'll probably be, I mean, they can fit all of the kids. Um, and then this one here is Jolly Rancher. I don't really, I think that's just, I don't know what the little dots are. I think it's just the little O in Jolly. So that one's kind of cute. And then the last one is Reese's. This will probably be Abby's because Reese's is like, if she's going to have chocolate, it's one of her favorite candies. Um, but actually, so is Ashley. But they don't ever choose it. It's funny. They don't ever, like when they ask me to get them a snack at Target, UIC, they always ask for sour gummies of some sort. Right now, it's the Nerd Clusters. That's their snack of choice. Um, so, a little anticlimactic at the dollar store. So, I'm going to go home and have some lunch and see how Ashley's doing. She's going to double up her meds. Uh, getting to have her hopefully she took some ibuprofen Abby is at home with her by the way um, If Abby is not at home, I have a little Something up my sleeve. The problem is she's been at home <laughs> She has not been out of the home going to work or going to school. Yes, she was homesick yesterday more out of precaution so she's not sick for her surgery we were just over, she's like, I could go to school, I feel fine, but I need to rest to make sure I don't get worse. Otherwise the surgery will be canceled. So she's still home, she's home. She went to a class this morning and Chelsea got a ride. Chelsea loves that. She loves that once or twice a week, Abby goes at the same time Chelsea needs to go. So Chelsea likes that. Procedure. Okay. On Friday, do you happen to have a pen and paper around? Um, I can just take notes on my phone. I'm in my car, but I'm I'm parked. I'm fine to. Oh, good. Okay, just want to make sure you're safe. Yeah, no, I'm so, fine. Apart from <laughs> any um, allergies outside of latex. Okay, if she could be here at nine o'clock on Friday morning. Okay. And we'd like her to come to the Forest Five Surgery Center. Okay. Do you know how to get there? Yeah, this is old hat for us. <laughs> Oh, is... I'm sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. I'm sorry because yeah, I, I know. am, you know. This is her third surgery. Probably the last place you want to be here <laughs> on a Friday. Uh, no, it's fine. This is our last surgery, so this is actually really good news. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, will you be coming with her as a legal guardian? Yeah, me and her father will come as well. Okay. We'll get a urine test when she gets here. As you, you know, the usual thing. Yeah. Um, could you just ask her not to wear any makeup or nail polish? Okay. Or jewelry. Makeup, yeah. And did they give you any HIPAA cleanse for her to shower with the night before? Um, no, they if, didn't. But I have HIPAA cleanse. It's just at Target. Okay, and if you didn't, you can't find it. Regular soap will be fine. Okay, yeah, it, I have some. I had surgery a couple months ago, so I have some. All right, and then developmentally, Mom, is she on par for her age? Oh, yeah, above okay. her age. <laughs> and she's eating regular food, drinking with a cup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. I can auto fill some of this in based on that information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so no special needs. No. And you will see the doctor and the anesthesiologist before the procedure starts. Remind you. Okay. If you could be, I'm sorry, she could stop eating at two thirty that morning. So no so eating. I'm sure she'll be asleep. Yeah. Two thirty in the morning. Okay. And when is the last then, time she can have like liquids? Liquid. Zero in there, and between two thirty and seven thirty, she can drink clear liquid. 
Two thirty. Clear water, clear apple juice, Sprite, or Gatorade that isn't red. Okay, so clear liquids any time, like if two thirty to seven thirty. But yeah, clear liquids from two thirty to seven thirty, and it's water. Yeah. Apple juice with no pulp. Yeah. Yeah. Gatorade, but not red, and Sprite. Okay. If she's just taking Tylenol, ibuprofen, is that correct? Yeah. She's really not even taking the pain meds anymore. Okay. And would you like, do you feel like she would want to have the flu vaccination while she's having, while she's asleep? Um, yeah, that's fine. And she can even do it okay, like, so before she... Okay, so yes and let us know. You can always change your mind. <laughs> You'll want her laying down. She kind of gets a little woozy when she gets any oh, shots. Honey, she'll, be, uh, she'll be asleep. <laughs> yeah, so it, uh, it's not going to be a problem. That's her reaction. Yeah, she won't even know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so during it, okay. that'll be fine. All right, and then... Does she go by they? Go by what? They. Do I use the right pronouns? Oh, yeah, I, she... Oh, I... I yeah. No. I mean, she just... Right, she, so, her, is fine. Okay. I just like to double check because I thought I heard you say that. No, no. All right, so... All right, and that's it, I think. Any cough or cold? I can't remember if I asked you that. Any what? Um, cough or cold or fever. No, she had some, just a sore throat a couple days ago, but it really didn't turn into anything. No fever, okay. no. She just has been resting this week, just to make sure it didn't turn okay. into anything. And the phone number here, I'll give it to you, is 206-987-7890. Okay. So just give us a call if you have any questions. Okay. That's it. Okay. Sounds All great. All right, take care. All right, thank you very much. It's okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Well, and that's that. I knew today would be the day. Um, it's just funny because they're like, oh, I'm so sorry she's had this many surgeries. You know exactly where you're going. Yes, in fact, we do know Forest Center at that hospital it is the surgical wing of Children's Hospital. So that is where we go. I was just sitting here in my car. I always like to sit in my car when I get home. And they called. I was actually on the phone with Kaylee before that. She's trying to get... Um, make plans with us when she comes home. So anyway, I'm gonna call Kaylee back and then go back inside and uh, move on with her day. All right, I'm at my dollar store now. When it's, I dropped Ashley off at her practice. Let's go down here, I'm a little close, too close. But you guys, I literally don't know what's happened to this dollar store. It's only been a couple weeks since I was here. We're gonna put you up in here. So people can't see the camera. Um getting spider web because Ashley was like I know I want spider web um, this store must be under new management number one number two they've added like the whole oh you can't see like the three to five dollar items which I'm going to show you one of the items some of the items that I'm going to get namely fake Stanley <laughs> um, let me just show you like I'm like wandering around and like the whole store is like Big and span. It's like insane. But also like this whole like this whole section is all new. I get that they're trying to like up prices and whatnot. Ooh, these are spy five foot spider web. Five feet of spider web lights. That's cool. We should do that. Inflatable stackable pumpkin. But look at this, like the whole, I get that it is more than $1.25, but this whole section is like all new. Like this whole aisle, they have like home home stuff in here. Like the car section is like moved. They've moved all of this stuff over here. And then like all of this Christmas stuff down here. Look at this stuff down here. These trucks are like at most $5. And then like all this Christmas decor, this cute little tree. I just saw something like this, a little nightlight on TikTok. They wanted $25 for it. This has gotta be like, what, five, yeah, $5. I'm tempted to buy these trees, but I don't need them. I, like I don't need them, but they're really cute. The garland, I mean, that's really cute. I don't know, I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted. But uh, what I wanted to show you is this little hot insulated tumbler. Pretty sure we already have something like this, but I'm doing something for Abby. I just, I'm hoping she's gone in the morning <laughs> and I can do something for her. Um, but I thought I would add this. I'm trying to decide between that color 
and this color. I don't know. If they had purple, I would do purple. I think I'm going to do this pale pink. She likes the pale pink. So you, gotta, you always got to get ones from the way back. The ones that are not messed with a ton from people like me looking at them. That one's probably not touched. Okay, so that I'm going to get that for Abby. I was going to get that color, but I'm going to get this one. Oh, this one has like a, a spider stuck to it. But anyway, I mean, I didn't find what I came looking for. But now I feel like I need to like roam the whole store. That's what I feel like I need to do. Because I'm like, oh, what did they... Oh. But like, they're catching on, dude. They're catching on. There's so many bags in total in here. For like, what, $3, $5, $5? There's a lot of bags in there. 50, 58, 20, 22, and 18. That's a lot of bags. That's a lot. So even if it's five bucks, the one at Target's 13. When I mean, you could buy two of these and just stack them one on top of each other in your drawer, so you had a backup. Okay, okay. I took a, no, I didn't take a nap. I take that back. I got into bed. I got into bed. It is quarter to eight. <laughs> um, Jason and I just had some spaghetti, had some meat sauce with it, extra protein. I got more of the Trader Joe's sourdough bread. Here, can you hand that to me? Um, this guy has how many grams? I always forget how many. Eight, no, six grams of protein per slice. Also, here, hand me that caramel sauce. I'm not showing Jason because he's just not dressed to show on camera. I'm fine, I'm just wearing a shirt. I know, but anyway. We got this from Trader Joe's as well. Cinnamon bun spread. It's, it's literally just caramel sauce. <laughs> you pretend like, is there any protein in this? There's no way there's protein in this. Yeah. Protein zero. So that's not even an excuse. But anyway, hi Chelsea. No burp for me? Huh? Can we, this isn't, can you put it down there? Yeah, there's a whole something. counter there. They bring the, the food stuff out here. All right, well, um, I feel bad because I have this whole plan. I'm gonna tell you guys the plan. I've gotta see if I can make it happen. I have bought a ton of snacks and I got that <clears throat> um, hot, hot cocoa drink cup thing or whatever. And I have it all in my trunk. And I want to clean Abby's room for her Why? In, prepare, in preparation for her surgery. <laughs> Chelsea, she's always like, what's going on around here? No, she's going to tell me anything, and I'm not on the family calendar. So I genuinely I know. No. I don't know how to get her on it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go upstairs, because now that's... Um, but Abby has been home every single day this week. The only time she was gone was when I had to be gone at my appointment this morning. Now you can't even see me. Hang on. Um. Okay, let me just, I'm gonna have to just show you her room really quick. She has gone um, to get Ashley from Cheer because she told me she's gonna go get some more snacks. And I couldn't tell her not to get snacks because I'm gonna get her snacks. <laughs> so I just let her go and get more. So she's gonna have a lot of snacks. Her room is not messy. I am not throwing her under the bus. It is not messy. Um, a lot of the times, the clothes that are on the, her bed here, this is just her homework. Usually she has like a big pile of clothes here on her bed. Um, and it's just cause she's kind of like me where you wear a sweatshirt for two hours and then you take it off and you go somewhere and then you come home and you put that one back on and you climb into bed. Also, I think her self-tanner, um, yeah, <laughs> her self-tanner has kind of um, ruined her sheets there. Anyway, um, so her room's not like dirty or super messy. I just want to make it obvious that I've straightened it up for her and get it ready for her to relax in to recover. I just know how much I appreciated having my room clean. And we did the same thing before her last surgery. 
And so I want to do that for her. I just have a feeling she's going to do it tonight um, because she has this thought of like going to get her snacks and getting herself ready. Um, I sent her the list that I made uh, for her surgery, the things that she has to do for her surgery. Um, so I'm sure that's just swirling in her head now, you know, I've got to get this little checklist done. Um, she is my child. I just need to casually ask her what time she's going to class tomorrow. Literally, she has a different schedule every single day. And the beginning of school, there's been assemblies and like different things. And I cannot keep track of when she actually is supposed to go to school. So I might have to alter when I go on my walk again. So I can wait for her to leave the house and hurry and clean her room. And hopefully she doesn't clean it tonight. I hope she doesn't clean it tonight. I hope she just does it all tomorrow. And then um, I can clean it and make a gift, the gift basket for her and leave that in her room. And then I can go on my walk. Um, so that's the hope. So I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys. Let's pray she doesn't clean her room tonight. <laughs> Maybe she could change her sheets. She could change her sheets and then I don't have to do that. <laughs> but I don't think she'll do that tonight because she's not gonna wanna wait for the sheets. So anyway. Um, I'm going to sign off with you guys and we're going to do that tomorrow one way or the other. Either she's going to clean her room by herself or I'll stop her if I see her doing it and then um, I'll still have a gift basket to give her as we prepare for her surgery. So um, I do feel bad. She's going to laugh because I, I probably I probably have the exact same snacks she's going to get. So this is going to be quite funny. <laughs> Because I know my child. So, we'll see. We'll, we'll show you a comparison of what she comes home with tonight versus her gift basket when she opens it. And we'll see how many things I actually... I mean, she, I know she likes what I got her. But we'll see how accurate it is for tonight versus... Like, for what she gets tonight versus what I got her. So, stay tuned. We, we, shall, we both shall find out next time. So, take care. Good night.